ruined my life, huh? Here's my story and what you need to know about trading. I'll be doing a recap on this guy's story, guys. Uh, I watched this uh, video a few months ago and uh, I've had a lot of the community um, ask me my thoughts on this. So I'm gonna do a recap. Um, I'm gonna do uh, 1x, 1.5 speed on the video and I'll give my commentary uh, throughout the video. I hope you guys enjoy. So as we saw in the last clip, that was me mentally breaking down. So in this video, um, I'm gonna give you one thing that I learned over three years of unprofitable trading that you must know to succeed. I'll also show you my story, how I ended up in this situation, and also show you the video where I'm mentally breaking down so I can really drive the point home. So I wanna start off by saying that if you're gonna trade, if you wanna pursue this, you have to do one thing, and that one thing that I can do for three years caused me so much pain, and that is to have rules. You need to follow the rules, no matter what, follow them no matter what. Um, and the yeah. Um, you gotta treat it like a business. You gotta have a game plan, you have to have rules, you have to have structure. You can't go into trading blindly. That's um, where he messed up. It took him three years to figure that out. Man. The reason for that is not to make money. The rules are not there to make money. The rules are there to protect you. To protect you from being self harm to yourself, mentally, and financially. Because you gotta understand trading is gamble. You're risking money to potentially make money. You know, you're taking on risk every single day. But trading is not like any other gambling endeavor, you know? Trading, in trading, there's freedom. Trading with an algorithm is actually the dumbest thing that you can do because most algorithms are actually following. There's freedom to get in when you want, get out when you want. No one's forcing you to make trades, right? You can trade whenever you want. It's not like where in blackjack you get the other hand or poker you get the other hand. Like, okay, you get the other hand and all of a sudden you're like, I want to play. Right? I'm gonna have to disagree and agree. It is like trading, right? I mean, it is like gambling, but it's not. Oh man, he just the way he said it, he said it wrong, right? Um, everything's a gamble, right? Life is a gamble. Um, you know, when you're going to work and working your nine to five, you're taking a gamble by putting those hours in to get a paycheck at the end of the week, right? Uh, <clears throat> trading is not like that, but um, it's like a probabilities game, right? When you have more things in your favor, more confluencing factors, um, the odds are better lined up in your favor. But yeah, it, I guess it is a gamble, but at the same time, life is a gamble. You don't trade, you can do that. You know, if you see if you get into a trade, somehow you don't feel like you can trade to get out. No one's forcing you to stay. It's also not like it's a lot for you to money, and then you put the lever, and then actually you lose the amount of money you put in. In trading, you can lose your whole account on one trade, right? It's the freedom, it's in the space of that freedom in trading that gives you the biggest advantage, but also the greatest advantage, right? If you don't have a discipline, if you don't have rules, you can really mess yourself up. And like I said, trade is really, is gambling. And if you control yourself, it can turn into an addiction, right? It's only one degree away from. I agree. It is a 100% full-on degenerate gambling if you don't have no discipline, if you uh, trading with no setup, if you're over trading, um, you know, uh, if you don't go into it with the plan. 100% gambling. Gambling. Um, the rule should be based on extending uh, your time in the market. That's what the rule should be based on. Having you stay in the market long enough so they can create a profitable strategy and then work from there. A lot of people say, oh, start the strategy first, start the strategy. Let me tell you this. If you don't have rules and you start the strategy, you're not going to last long. Right? And plus, the market's always changing. Strategies are always changing. I'm going to have to agree with him, too. Strategy, I feel, is about 5%, 10%. That's what technical analysis is in the charts. I think everything else is like uh, trading psychology, risk management. Um, you know, it's basically you versus you. Um, I think it takes about a year to six months to get to know the charts and um, once you get to know the charts then you get to know yourself and um, from what I've seen it's about three years three years is the mark where people start to kind of click and get the uh, profitability so if you're a beginner, please follow your rules because you're going to end up like me. And <laughs> beginner or advanced, you need rules no matter what. Um, when I started trading, I got fully owned. I did get trading. And at first, it was just half my paycheck, you know? Okay, the way he's talking, right? So fully addicted, blown. So you can tell he has a very addictive personality. You can tell whatever this guy does. If he, uh, if he did drugs, he was very addicted to drugs. Uh, if he drank, he was very addicted to drinking. Um, 
he just uh right now he's addicted to trading you know so that's just his personality he has addictive personality and uh that could work for you and work against you and for him uh his uh it, his passion turned into addiction and it was his downward spiral man and uh lose the paycheck have no paycheck in the stock market and then um you know still struggle have a struggle to eat and buy food and gas but i was still making food a month um so in the beginning of this year i was not in debt i was free um had no debt at all and so it went from Africa. okay so uh <laughs> If you're trading right um, and you're doing it full time, your first year, if you're break even, you're doing good. You're doing real good. Uh, it is very expected about 98 to 99 percent uh, the first year to be negative, right? It's just like when you start a business. Um, and they say <laughs> for the first year to two years, you're in the red. You don't make any money. So something, something to keep in mind, right? First, first thing I got paycheck, um, and then it went beyond to spending my whole paycheck. So now I'm falling behind on bills, and um, I'm spending my whole paycheck and losing it in the stock market. And at that point, it felt like that was rock bottom for me, losing my paycheck, that was rock bottom. Eventually, that became normalized. Uh, you know, I just Uber on the weekends to pay my bills. I was falling behind, and it just became normal at that point to just lose the whole paycheck and just you know be okay with it. And so when that became normal, yeah, when that well, as soon as that became normal, I would have went and get got some help. Um, you know, I, it's uh, it's looking bad. It's looking like he's going downward, very, very downward spiral, almost like a drug addiction. Um, it got even worse. It went to now I was taking out loans. I was getting debt to fund myself in the stock market, and I'm taking out risky loans. I'm taking eighty plus interest rate. Um, you know, I was sometimes taking out a loan. I remember taking a loan that was four hundred percent interest rate. You know, so I think I was paying like almost half of it within a week and just interest alone. Yeah, I've I'm done like, it before. I've taken loans out family for before. Money. So it got even worse. I was calling friends and family money. I started selling some of my stuff to pay for my debts and my bills. Uh, long story. Sounds short, like drug addiction. Um, as a gift to our viewers on YouTube, he's I mean, um. Preach. What he's doing is he's selling stuff. So just like kind of how a drug person or crackhead would sell stuff to get money to fill his need, to fill his each itch. That's what he's doing. I went from having no debt to now only fourteen, fourteen thousand dollars in debt. Keep in mind, I work minimum wage in California, so that's uh, that's basically half. Almost half my salary right there, fourteen thousand dollars. I think I'm gonna make like thirty thousand dollars a year. And so, um, okay, so <laughs> I would not recommend to go on the path that he's doing. I would recommend to put aside a very small amount, maybe a third of your check, if you're that bad, right? A third of your check to trade, and I would use prop firms if you don't have the money, right? Because it's only you're gonna only spend a hundred to a hundred fifty bucks, right? instead of spending thousands and thousands, right? Um, look into prop firm if you're going through the same hurdles as him. And I, I think if someone would have introduced him to uh, prop firms, I think uh, he would have saved a lot of money. Uh, another thing I would have done is uh, invested more money in education. That's what I would have done if I was him. My current situation now. And it wasn't until this most recent month that it really, really hit me hard. And I mean, hit me really hard. I was really down bad. Um, I actually was in the same situation two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I had enough money in my account to cover all of my debt. And in that day, I lost it all. And I was so, so, so much emotional pain. Uh, I was calling mental health institutes, you know, friends and family. Anyone I could call to relieve my emotional pain. Um, yeah, if, uh, if, if you're getting to, tr uh, if trading is getting to that type of point where it's uh, coming outside of the charts and leading into your life outside, outside the charts, it's bad. You have to step away. That's, uh... Um, you know, trading is not for everybody, you know, uh, if, if you can't leave your emotions on the charts, um, you know, this is an example of, uh, what happened. Um, I told you this, but I also masturbate, I would masturbate every time I lose, or when I felt tense in the stock market. I kind of never like, did that. Kind of relax myself, but it, obviously that habit got carried over. He should and get a girlfriend. He's not like an ugly guy. Day, so I'm not proud of, but, um, I have to, you know. I didn't want to feel that pain. I didn't want to stay with reality. Really you know, so uh, I've had a lot of mentors and I've done a lot of, uh, I've, I've had a lot of coaches. I had a accountability coach because I was over trading and having a problem walking away from the screen. And what he's doing is what they told me to do, but not with masturbation, right? Um, they told me to find like a podcast or uh, a video game or some sort of task to pull me away from the charts when I take a when I take a loss or a win. 
for him, he he chose the wrong thing, man. He chose to do those nasty things to himself. Twenty times. I've never done that in my life. Twenty times. Man, he's probably dry. Going through it. I don't want to say that I'm not super religious, but I was primarily curious. I'm asking about getting me one more shot. Give me one more try. Let me show you that I'm patient and that I get, um, you know, yeah, really good. You're asking God. Funny enough, uh, the day after, I got another month again. I got another month. And I made money. And it was, I made money again. I made money again. I made money again. I made money again. And it got to the point where, um, you know, God actually gave me a second chance. He blessed me. And I had enough money to cover all my debt again. And yesterday I lost it all. You know? So it was almost like I spent about the gave me a chance. He blessed me. And I lost it all. Again. Yeah, it doesn't make sense how he can have. Everything and lose everything in one day. That goes to show he has no risk management. He has no, um, you know, type of guidance or, you know, he's pretty much gambling. He's not, no risk management. You, there's no way you can go in and be, make a bunch of money and then lose it all the next day unless you have no rules. You know. Yesterday, um, same scenario. I was talking to people, friends, family, anyone. I was in tears, crying. You know, um, and uh, you know, um, I felt like I didn't deserve another chance. You know, I'm not gonna cry about it. I felt like I didn't deserve a chance. Right, because you know, I asked for him in my friend's face. I feel like everything that's everything that's happened to me, I think I was falling everything that's bad, everything that's my fault. And, um, brother, you, so you're you the creator of your destiny. Um, maybe my third chance is my third thought to me, third chance, and, and that chance not making money, but maybe helping you, helping you avoid the pain that I went through. And hopefully, you learned something from this video so that can help you avoid all this and education, man. Educate just, like, yourself, uh, get somebody to guide you. Years. So, um, hopefully, you learned something. I'm gonna show you the video where I break down mentally. Uh, I was gonna have to show you this video, but uh, before that, training. Um, like this, this is hard part. Where, uh, but I feel like we're really driving from home, and you said, "Well, I say seriously, so this could happen to you." So this very true. Video, it um, could happen to you guys. Hopefully, you learn something. You're an options trader, so I don't have to sugarcoat this. It is very true. This can happen to anybody. Um, it's very important to have risk uh, risk parameters and uh, know when to walk away. Not to treat it like gambling. To treat it like a business. You know, very important. I took out loans, I lost that. I'm already in debt to begin with. I'm uh, currently $10,000 in debt. Uh, I took out more loans, now I'm currently $14,000 in debt. Mm -hmm. But the most hardest part of this is uh, telling people, making promises to people, and then uh, losing all that money that was supposed to fulfill those promises. I mean, I believe this. It's my home. It's me. Um, I feel bad, but I don't feel bad at the same time. Look at him. He had lots of hair. Wow, man. Trading's not for everybody, guys. Look at his balding. Yeah. Step away from the charts, brother. That's it. Take a break. Take a vacation. Uh, take a mentorship. Something. Except that old beard. Except that um there might just be 30 still in my home except that I probably won't ever make a problem <laughs> bro 14,000 is nothing bro 14,000 in debt is nothing where did I go wrong guys everywhere like, you had no guide no education no uh, risk management your trading psychology your your life outside the charts just everything Addicted, man. You're on the edge. I will say that. Just be careful. Be careful. Man. All right, man. That was pretty crazy. That was crazy. So, um. It's not like work. Yeah, I watched this video a few months back, two, three months ago, right? And I watched it real quick, right? Let's see. See, look, I commented it two months ago. <clears throat> You need to get right with yourself before you hit the charts. Your life outside the charts reflects how you are on the charts. Also, FYY, everything is a gamble. Then, and life is a gamble. Especially when you have no discipline, no, join a prop firm. You'd save all your money. I feel, I don't feel bad, honestly. I feel bad for the people giving you money to flush. 
use your time and money to educate yourself obviously you don't know much traders like you make our industry look bad you sir truly are a gambler not a trader <laughs> you're chasing the wrong things check yourself into a psychic oh man i said some mean stuff i guess <clears throat> but it's true he does i uh after looking at what i said two months ago I'm just gonna be honest, even though it's sad that he did, I would check myself into a psych ward, get some sort of help, talk to, uh, not check myself into a psych ward, I'm sorry, talk to a psychiatrist, get some sort of counseling, step away from trading, trading is not for you, at least not right now, uh, maybe uh, take some classes and then paper trade or trade a prop firm, um, if, uh, if you're watching this, man, I'll, I'll help you, bro, I'll spend my time trying to help you, just don't continue what you're doing brother don't continue what you're doing with that said uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to this video uh, you know it's sad man it's very very sad and uh, another sad thing I've seen also is when uh, other traders will blame somebody for their downfall right um, you know especially the ones that are there to help especially the ones that are there to help remember this game is you versus you it has nothing to do with anybody else. Uh, there's people that can guide you. There's people that can give you knowledge. There's people that can give you a different perspective. But as far as uh, this industry and this type of business, it's you versus you. That's what it is. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. 